Alright, this video, as you can tell by the title, I got a new camera. And that new camera is... It is a Sony... A Sony A6500. Um, so, before I get into it, and I still have, uh, I have another little thing that I'll, I'll do an unboxing of or like show you guys what I got just because it goes along with the camera. But, story with the camera, how I got it. So, I was really looking into getting a new camera and I wasn't sure what I wanted and stuff like that. And I ended up really liking, I, I was doing homework and I really liked this one. Uh, I also looked into the A7S Mark II. But that thing's like three grand or something. And this one was, um, I think, 1500 And it had, they both had the features that I was mainly looking for. So, therefore, I went with this one because it was cheaper. I contacted my uncle. So, I contacted my uncle and I asked him, you know, like, do you have uh, anyone that can get me a, a camera? And he was like, yeah, I know a girl that works at Sony. Got in contact with there with her and then basically they hooked me up he helped me out too to pay for this so shout out to him um, for helping me out with this camera and yeah show you guys what it's all about I figured I'd switch the lens uh, to the fisheye so that you guys can get a better view so let me unbox this it's kind of technically the second unboxing because I've already unboxed it but I'm gonna just basically show you and tell you what it came what came with it and all that stuff so Camera when it when I unboxed it it came with the charger uh, which is right here actually it's just like a cord and you actually charge the battery through the camera through this little slot so it came with that and then um, it came with a bunch of bunch of paperwork and all that stuff so nothing crazy and it also came with a Sony strap but I decided to keep the the Canon one that I had on my T3i because it just had more cushion and stuff so I liked it better. As you can tell this is a camera. It's a pretty solid camera. Let me just start off by saying uh, I like it so far. I haven't used it drastically or heavily. It is really small though. I'll give you that much. You know it's like the size of my palm and compared to this big old T3i that I had, the DSLR, it's, it's pretty pretty crazy like I said earlier I had a T3i so I bought a lot of Canon lenses I think I have like four Canon lenses that I I use uh, various times and stuff so uh, instead of buying a Sony lens I, I definitely plan to buy a Sony lens in the future but I kind of held off on it right now because they're so expensive they're like 500 bucks or at least the one I really want so what I bought came comes in this box the one that I said I was gonna show you guys and it's a newer uh, Sony E-mount to Canon EF or EF lenses. Check it out. So this isn't a lens. This is basically a lens adapter that lets me put on my Canon lenses onto a Sony body. Uh, so it just basically connects like it would a lens, straps on, and then it has another mount on there that allows me to connect my Canon lens. So that's basically it. Pretty, pretty dope. Uh, little toy. I think um, they have options to where like if you want it to connect with uh, for autofocus and aperture or something like that. I did that just because um, it wasn't that much more expensive. There are some that don't have autofocus and all that. They just basically connect the the lens to the body but then you have to go and put manual focus and focus it yourself. But I didn't want to deal with that so I just got it. Another thing I didn't like about the camera was that it the screen I mean everyone I've heard a lot of people complain about it but to me honestly it's not that big of a deal because I know my lens so much that I can get a feel of what I know is focus and where it's like I've held it to my face so many times that I've gotten a feel for where the focus point is so I don't really trip over that oh the reason I got this camera ultimately like the main main reasons was for two reasons it shoots 120 frames per second at 1080p and it has a five 5-axis image stabilizer or something like that and I felt for me always on the bike always on the move I felt like that was perfect because I want the steadiest you know without having a gimbal or a steady cam I can it's already built into the camera really really dope uh, it shoots 4k at 24 frames per second but I don't think I'm gonna use that very much maybe on some projects or something like that but I'm mainly gonna stick to 1080p at 
120 frames per second. My Canon, just to give you the one I'm filming on right now, just to give you an idea, shoots 1080p at 30 frames per second. So I'm almost jumping 100 frames uh, per second higher than what I'm shooting at right now. So I'm really, really excited for what I'm, like, the, the films I got or, like, just ideas. And if you haven't caught on by now, my channel is basically my passions or something, or if you would say, are bikes, any types of bikes, friggin' road bikes, track bikes, fix fixie bikes, any of that, and cameras. I love cinematography, like I said uh, in one of my videos earlier, so I'm really excited for what I, this camera is going to allow me to do. You know, I've been kind of held, I wouldn't say held back by this camera, the T3i, but I think the fact that I, could, I couldn't shoot at high frames per second to get a crisp image of my bike tricks uh, kind of held me back. I don't know. The button layout is basically you got your you got your screen right here. Let me see if I can focus this. So you got your screen right here. You got your basic layouts, your buttons and stuff, your uh, uh, display ISO, uh, trash can, play button, stuff like that. Pictures, it has the flash right there. Just pushes back. So yeah, this is a mirrorless camera. I'm technically used, I'm basically used to the DSLRs which aren't mirrorless. Speaking about my DSLR, I probably won't ever shoot on the DSLR from this point on, from this video and onwards for my channel. Unless I need to, I won't ever shoot on the T3i. This will be my go-to camera for everything. Um, but I'm, I'm just excited, you know, I'm definitely going to put it to good use. Get a lot of dope videos, um, a lot of good content. But school, it kind of gets me, kind of helps, doesn't hold me back, but it just takes up a lot of my time. So I'm going to try my best to put out more and more videos, more dope videos. The battery life isn't crazy good. I mean, I'm definitely going to probably buy new batteries in the future. I think this one, uh, if you're shooting at 1080 at 120 frames, it shoots like for an hour and 15 minutes. I have a 128 gigabyte memory card, so I'm good on that. I was using that on this camera. It's honestly like a toy. I don't, I mean, it's it's pretty solid, don't get me wrong, but it just feels like a toy. It's so small. The button layout or the for the screen are pretty similar to Canon. You know, they have settings or menu settings and all that stuff. It's all up there. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Nothing I can't handle, basically. I honestly haven't been messing around with it lately because I barely got this adapter today. So I today's the only day that I've been messing with it with a lens on. But I've just been really delaying on this video. I just figured I'd tell you guys, show you guys, um, give you guys a little idea of what's to come for this channel. I remember talking about it in a video that I posted uh, not too long ago saying I got a new camera and I was going to tell you guys. So this is basically the video. Honestly, so far from what I've done, I love it. I can't complain. The T3i, I'll probably give it to my dad. I have no clue. I might, because he, I know he has a T2i, so I might help him out and upgrade him to the T3i. But uh, the only thing I plan to buy for this, uh, from this point on, definitely not a lens anytime soon, just because these do the trick just fine. Maybe some batteries for sure, because I know when I go out riding or when I'm out on the streets, I, I go through this, this Canon battery, these Canon batteries fast. Like, I have three of them, and... I pretty much go through them, all, all three of them, if I spend a whole day recording, which I definitely plan to do with this camera, so I, I gotta buy another two, which I plan to. Overall, I'm happy. I'm set. I don't want... This is it. This is the camera for me. Like, I am happy. I don't want anything else. I'm excited for the, for the film projects that I want to do, that I have an idea of, and like cinematic shots, slow motion. It's gonna change the game, you know? I've been shooting at 30 frames per second, and... Boom, out of nowhere, I get 120 frames. So, super excited. Uh, that's basically it. I just wanted to show, share with you guys what I got. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Comment, uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, now you guys know what camera I'm using. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stay clipping. Peace.